So I got a problem. It's, it's a small one. But I think that this is a problem that many people will go through, especially if you have a computer and you are a tinkerer like I am, or if you're trying to do benchmarks, or hell, if you just got Windows 10, or there's a new graphics driver update, or something along those lines. I've been running into a few issues, like uh, this one here. I'm sure something like this has happened to you, of course. So... You're doing your thing, you're playing a game, or you're doing some uh, video editing, or whatever it may be, and all of a sudden it just crashes on you. And then you get this nifty little window. At least for AMD, this is the window I get. And you're like, you know, that's weird, that's okay, I'll just go ahead and restart my um, computer and everything will be just fine. And then, so you do that. And you get back to playing that game again, and you think everything's good, and then you run a benchmark, and then this happens to you. Now, if you're like me, and I know that most people aren't, you're taking a graphics card and you're swapping that baby out and that graphics card is not the same that was in there previously and so things are getting confused. Now what's happening specifically is that the driver is having a hard time doing what it's supposed to do. Right now, the graphics card I have in my computer is an RX 580. That is going to be the next video that'll go up normal time. And so the previous graphics card that was in there was a Vega 64. And so what has happened is I have a driver that is used to a Vega 64 graphics card. And then I did nothing. I pulled out that graphics card. I slapped this graphics card in here because it's made by the same vendor. And it's technically supposed to be okay to use, technically, because it is, um, you know, using the same driver and everything. But there's different stuff happening on the BIOS level and the driver level with each graphics card. And so that's why there's certain problems. Now, if you don't swap graphics cards out regularly, then what you'll find is you'll still have this problem sometimes. And so here's kind of what has happened. There has been an update on top of an update on top of an update. And if you're like me, you update every time because you want the best driver that there is out there and so what's happening is is every time you update it is kind of layering itself on top of itself and if there's a problem somewhere in there then that problem becomes worse and worse with each new layer so every now and again I'd say every other driver update or so you should completely just wipe the drivers. But Jordan, how am I supposed to do that? So there's this nifty program called DDU, or Display Driver Uninstaller. And I'm gonna walk you through how to use that really quickly. Um, I'm gonna, there's a few extra steps that you should absolutely take. Because if you don't, then you're gonna find out that Windows takes it upon itself to install drivers all while you're trying to reinstall your driver and that winds up screwing up the process that we are about to do so let's get into that the first thing that you're going to want to do is download ddu so just literally search ddu it'll be display driver uninstaller download that program and that's good and the second thing that you need to do is you need to download the driver for your graphics card. The third thing that you need to do is you need to come down here in your bottom left hand corner where it says type here to search and type advance. I don't even have to go all the way, but type advance for view advanced system settings. Open that. Okay. So now that you're there, you're going to see uh, several different tabs. You're going to see computer name, hardware, advanced system protection, 
and remote. What you need to do is you need to go over here to hardware. And then you're going to see two other options. You're going to see device manager and you can click device manager or device installation settings. And you want to click that one device installation settings. And then it's going to pop up another window. And this is where windows makes me mad because this will reset when you do an update. So just, just when windows update updates, this is going to reset. Not always, but it does. So, do you want to automatically download manufacturers, apps, custom icons available for your devices? No. Now, the reason why you don't want to do this is because what's going to happen is Windows is going to find what it thinks is the latest driver. It's going to download it. It's going to install it. And then you're going to be sitting with, let's see, we're on 21.9.2. So, it could be 15.7.3. It could be whatever Windows thinks that it needs to be. And when you go to reinstall your driver software and your drivers, that is going to, that new driver that you're installing is going to install on top of what Windows has already put, which is all, which, which is creating a problem that we're trying to eliminate. So click no on this one, save changes. And away we go. Okay. So here's the very next move that you need to make. In order for DDU to work, it needs to be done in safe mode. If you do not do it in safe mode, then it doesn't remove all of the excess stuff. So when you're in regular windows, your driver for your graphics card is running already. And so when you do, when you run display driver uninstaller, it doesn't remove all that super hidden stuff like the registry keys and all of that. And so what you'll do is you're going to wind up still having those extra bits of information left that doesn't go anywhere and that can create a problem. So we need to start windows in save mode. Now how you do that is you're going to go over to the start menu. You're going to press and hold the left shift left shift is the only one that I know that works. You're going to go to power and you're going to restart and you're going to hold left shift until this screen goes away. Boom. Here we are. So now we're in this menu here and you got continue, turn off your PC, you uh, use a USB device and troubleshoot. We're going to go to troubleshoot. We're going to go to advanced options. Then we're going to go to starting startup settings, which is all of that. And we're still not yet able to choose safe mode. So now we're going to restart. Okay. So it has finally loaded. So you got a bunch of different options here. You got enable debugging, enable boot logging, enable low resolution video, enable safe mode, enable safe mode with networking, enable safe mode with command prompt, display driver signature enforcement, sorry, disable driver signature enforcement. Disable early launch anti-malware protection and disable automatic restart after failure. We're going to go into safe mode. Okay. So now that you have gotten into safe mode, you got your display driver uninstaller guy right here. Ignore that zipped file. Open this baby up. Uh, just run. Oh, it's gonna make me extract again. Cool. Fine, I don't care. There we go. Display driver uninstaller. This is going to pop up here and this is going to ask you what stuff you want to remove. So if you have NVIDIA options, if you run an NVIDIA anything, then just select all of this stuff here for NVIDIA and AMD. And then down here for advanced options, it says change at your own risk. Enable safe mode. No, sorry. Prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update when Windows searches for driver for a device. Click that one. Click OK. And now you can close this. Now, it's super simple from this point. Select the device type. In this case, it's going to be a GPU. AMD for me. Could be NVIDIA for you, could be Intel for you. That's AMD for me. And 
I'm going to choose clean and do not restart. I want to be the one to restart it. I want all the power. Just the way it is for me. You can choose to clean and restart if that's what you choose. But that's okay. It's, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. So let's do that. Clean and do not restart. So while this is doing this, it's going to take a few minutes because you could have a bunch of stuff. Like if you've updated over and over and over and over and over, then it's got to go through there and nitpick everything, every single little thing out. But that's okay. This is going to take a while. It may be super duper quick. It may not be super duper quick for you. It kind of just depends on how beastly your computer is. But when it's done, it'll say that it's done. And you just got to patiently wait. Okay, so it's done. It didn't take that long, really, did it? So clean, uninstall, completed. Would you like to exit now? Yes. So now, restart your computer. Definitely exactly what you want to see. The screen's going to be funky. It's going to be weird, big, not like it shouldn't, you know, nothing's right. Close all these windows because none of that matters now. So then you just go and you find your display driver that you have downloaded. Downloads right here. Uh, 2110.1. Run it. Yes. Close this window. Install. And you just go through your normal install process. So there you have it. That's what I highly recommend you do if you're having display problems because I was just having them and they were being a pain in the butt and I wish that I could have gotten some of the stuff that I was seeing on camera so you could see what I mean by weird things. I had one crash of a game and a couple of the, hey, the driver timed out crashes, you know, um, but if this happens to you, don't be frustrated. Just download those two couple of pro download the DDU. Make sure you got your display driver so you don't have to look for it elsewhere. Why, especially when you're without the display uh, driver, and uh, make sure to stop Windows from doing the automatic display driver updates. Make sure you just stop that entirely. I hope this video was helpful uh, for anybody who was having any of these problems. It's gonna happen. You do two or three updates with the drivers. Just trust me, it's worth doing all the stuff that we just went through. It really is. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps you. I hope if you have any problems whatsoever, especially with your computers, or you know somebody who has problems, please direct them to this video and just follow those instructions and you, you're, it'll help, I promise. It'll especially helps me because I got to do some more benchmarks. I got another game to add to this next benchmark that I'm going to be doing. Um, this next video card that I'll be doing is an RX 580. That'll go up. That's the next video. Um, like, comment, subscribe if I haven't said that already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.